Japan has long been known for its cutting edge technology, and it's true that, in many ways, the country is living in the future. From high speed trains to humanoid robots, Japan has consistently been at the forefront of technological development, pushing the boundaries of what's possible, and bringing science fiction to life. One area where Japan excels is transportation. Japan's Shinkansen or bullet trains are famous for their speed and punctuality, with some models reaching speeds of up to 320 km per hour. The trains have advanced safety features, including earthquake detection systems and automatic train control, which help ensure they operate smoothly and safely. A great example of that is the Chuo Shinkansen. It is a proposed high speed railway line connecting Tokyo and Osaka, Japan's two most significant metropolitan areas. Unlike the existing Tokaido Shinkansen, which runs along the coast, the Chuo Shinkansen would pass through the mountainous interior of Japan, shortening the distance between the two cities and reducing travel time. I guess you can say that this project will defy gravity. Why? We'll get through it in this video. But before that, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest in the luxury world. At Luxury Mindset, we bring you all luxurious information ranging from items, cars, houses, places, and even people who bathe in luxury. Not only that, but we also give you the amount you would need to purchase any of these luxurious stuff. So if you're interested in the rich, becoming rich, or even dreaming of lying on a mattress of gold or dollar bills, click the notification bell to keep yourself updated on this channel. Why did I say that this project would defy gravity? It's because the project uses maglev system, or what's also known as magnetic levitation. Its transportation system uses magnetic levitation to suspend a train above the tracks without any physical contact, allowing it to move at high speeds with low friction and reduced noise. Instead of running on steel wheels like conventional trains, maglev trains use magnets to levitate above the tracks, creating a magnetic field that repels the train upward and forward. The maglev train system has faster speeds, lower maintenance costs, reduced noise and vibration, and improved energy efficiency. Maglev trains can travel at speeds of up to 600 km per hour, which is significantly faster than conventional trains, and they don't suffer from the same wear and tear as trains with wheels, which means they require less maintenance and have a longer lifespan. A project like this would require a lot of money to push through. That is why the Japanese government allotted a massive budget of 9 trillion yet for this project. But before you freak out due to its price, it's about $65 billion depending on the US dollar rate. The high cost of the Chuo Shinkansen is due to the extensive tunneling required to build the line through mountainous terrain. It's worth noting that Japan's high-speed rail network, including the Shinkansen lines, is generally considered expensive compared to the other forms of transportation in Japan. However, the convenience and efficiency of the system are also widely recognized, making it a popular choice for both domestic and international travelers. The Chuo Shinkansen is a high-speed railway line currently under construction in Japan, and it is designed to travel at a maximum speed of 505 km per hour. It makes it the fastest train in the world in terms of top speed, surpassing the current record holder, China's Shanghai Maglev train, which operates at a top speed of 430 km per hour. However, it's worth noting that the Chuo Shinkansen is not expected to run at its maximum speed at all times. The train's actual operating speed will depend on several factors, including the distance between stations, the curvature of the track, and the weather conditions. Even so, the Chuo Shinkansen's high top speed will allow it to cover the 286km distance between Tokyo and Nagoya in just 40 minutes, which is less than half the current travel time on conventional train lines. For instance, let's compare the travel time between Tokyo and Nagoya, which is approximately 286 kilometers apart. Currently, the fastest way to travel between these two cities is by air, with a flight time of around one hour. However, the total travel time can be significantly longer when you factor in airport security checks, 
baggage claims, and transportation to and from the airport. By contrast, the Chuo Shinkansen is designed to cover the same distance in 40 minutes at its maximum speed of 505 km per hour. This means that even with the time it takes to get to and from the train station and board the train, the total travel time is likely shorter and more convenient than air travel. To put this into further perspective, the current Shinkansen trains, which operate at a maximum speed of 320 km per hour, take approximately 1 hour and 40 minutes to travel the same distance between Tokyo and Nagoya. So, the Chuo Shinkansen's top speed of 505 km per hour significantly improves travel time and convenience. Sounds exciting? Well, Japanese people are excited about this too. But which route is the train taking? The line will begin at Shinagawa Station, a central transportation hub in Tokyo. The route will pass through the Southern Alps, a mountain range in central Japan. The line will feature numerous tunnels and elevated bridges that will navigate through the challenging terrain of the region. The Chuo Shinkansen line will terminate at Nagoya Station, the largest train station in the city and a central transportation hub for the region. The line is expected to offer passengers a fast, efficient, and comfortable way to travel between Tokyo and Nagoya while providing breathtaking views of Japan's natural beauty. What would be the cost of riding the super-advanced floating train? A ticket for the standard route could be expensive, possibly exceeding 6,237. That may seem outrageous, but hold on before getting too worked up. The amount is actually in yen, which translates to approximately $120. To put that into perspective, a train ride from New York City to Augusta, Maine, which has a similar distance, could cost around $326 and take over 8 hours. So, despite the high price tag, this new Japanese maglev train is impressive. While the maglev system used in the Chuo Shinkansen is generally considered safe, there are some potential dangers associated with this technology. First is the electromagnetic interference. The maglev system uses solid electromagnetic fields to levitate and propel the train, which can interfere with other electronic devices and communication systems. Electromagnetic interference can affect pacemakers, hearing aids, and other medical devices. There can also be a risk of derailment. Despite the safety measures in place, there's still a possibility of derailment due to mechanical failures or track irregularities. Since the Chuo Shinkansen runs at extremely high speeds, power outages or fluctuations could cause a safety hazard or delay the train. The maglev system requires a steady and reliable power supply to function correctly. Additionally, Japan is a seismically active region and earthquakes are common. While the Chuo Shinkansen has been designed to withstand earthquakes, a powerful earthquake could damage the infrastructure and put passengers at risk. But worry less, the Chuo Shinkansen has undergone extensive safety testing designed to mitigate these risks as much as possible. The trains will have advanced safety features such as automatic emergency brakes and obstacle detection systems. Additionally, the infrastructure will be designed to withstand extreme weather conditions and natural disasters. Improving train technology is constantly being explored, and various concepts are being proposed to make train travel more sustainable and environmentally friendly. One of the most significant ideas is to use green technology, such as renewable energy sources, to power trains. Some researchers are also exploring using human waste as a fuel source for trains. However, this idea may be less exciting and glamorous than other technological advancements. One exciting concept for the future of train travel is the idea of flying train-plane hybrids. These trains would essentially be regular rail trains with large wings attached, allowing them to take off from the rails and fly up to 500 miles per hour carrying up to 2,000 passengers. The technology required to make these trains a reality is likely to be expensive, but the potential benefits could be significant, particularly for long-distance travel. Another exciting concept that has been proposed, although it may sound like science fiction than reality, is the idea of trains that could travel to the moon. 
This idea was first explored in the 1970s by Japanese companies who developed maglev technology that could be used to transport people and goods to the moon. In 2015, a maglev train set a new world record for magnetic levitation, achieving a speed of 370 miles per hour on a test track. While it may still be some time before trains are actually traveling to the moon, this idea demonstrates the incredible potential of train technology to push the boundaries of what we thought was possible. If these don't sound fascinating to you, I don't know what is. But it's Japan, everyone. There's nothing Japan doesn't apply advancement to. After all, it's the mecca for technology. We can indeed look forward to more updates and upgrades from Japan. If you enjoyed watching this video, please click the notification bell to stay updated with the latest in the luxury world. Only here at Luxury Mindset.